Hello everyone, welcome to another EV rambling series. Today is going to be a very interesting video actually. Uh, this is going to be similar to my first gen versus second generation uh, Chevrolet Volt video. I'm going to be comparing the first generation 2011 Chevrolet Volt to the brand new 2018 Prius Prime which only recently became available in Canada. Uh, this is listed as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. The Volt obviously is extended range electric vehicle, but this is actually supposed to be more extended range than most plug-in hybrids on the market. Uh, equipped with an 8.8 kilowatt hour battery, uh, they're listed at about 40 kilometer range. Uh, this, uh, my old 2011 Volt actually has a 10 kilowatt of usable battery storage in it, and it was rated about 35 miles, so about 50 kilometers or so. So I want to see actually how far they could both go. So I'm going to drive them to their battery limit to toward the same. I'm going to head out towards Port Renfrew. Once that battery runs out, I'll find the quickest way to turn around and come back. And then we're going to see what kind of fuel numbers or what kind of economy numbers we have. Because this uh, Prius is actually listed as getting much better fuel economy than this 2011 Volt did. Even though this has a bigger 1.8 liter gasoline motor. I think, for me, my predictions are that actually this is going to go a lot farther than it's listed. And I think they've made some probably pretty huge improvements in the seven years that actually separates these vehicles. But let's go for a drive. We're going to be taking the Prius first. And it's going to be a long day for me. Let's go. All right, welcome to part one of my 28 Prius Prime versus 2011 Chevrolet Volt uh, efficiency test. So I'm recording this in conjunction with my uh, driving reaction video, but I've been driving the car for about 2.5 kilometers. Uh, we're showing 94% of battery remaining. And my Chevrolet Volt, I had it fully charged, but then I had to drive to the uh, dealership. It wasn't that far but I reset the trip meter when I left my like from full charge and I reset this trip meter when I got to the dealership and the car was fully charged. So it should be pretty accurate. But the, yeah, this uh, the whole purpose of this efficiency test though is just to see what car what what each car can do because like for me I'm a I don't drive very far on a regular daily basis, so a car that can get 35 40 kilometers all electric range means that I'm driving in electric mode like 90% of the time. But there are a lot of people who have to go really far distances. And this car with a full tank of gas has a 45 liter uh, fuel capacity is listed as being, and, a full, and with a full charge is listed as being able to go over a thousand kilometers. So that's a massive amount of driving. Uh, I couldn't do that in one sitting. I would have to stop for sure. Uh, I would go mentally, I would go insane I think. But that's a huge fuel tank. Whereas my 2011 Chevrolet Volt with a 30 liter fuel tank it, and a full charge, its full range would probably be closer, excuse me, to about 500, 550 kilometers, significantly less range. And my car has a, my Volt has a 1.4 liter motor and this is a 1.8. So this car is pulling off significantly better uh, on, on paper fuel consumption numbers than my Volt is with a bigger motor and a smaller battery. So I think they've made some really good efficiency improvements in the seven year gap, like just over in the market in general compared to, because my, my Volt is one of the first like real EVs that came out again. And this car has been able to see what other manufacturers have done. So uh, yeah, let's, I will, I'll be back later. Let's go for a drive and push this battery to zero. All right, we're down to 47% of battery remaining, which is showing about 18.8 kilometers on here. But we just went over a very fast section. I have locked the car into electric mode. That is an option. It doesn't engage the gas motor, no matter how hard you press that accelerator down. So that is good. Uh, but yeah, we're we're still showing on an average of 0.0, .0 liters per 100 kilometers because yes, we have just been battery the entire time, and we've driven 22.6 kilometers. So we're going. We're going well. Things are going very well in this car. Uh, we'll come back. Next stop will be just before the gas motor comes in, and then that's where we're going to find a, a place to turn around, and then we'll do some gas-only mode and uh, see how that feels and what kind of economy we get. Very curious to see what happens. Uh, we're down to 6% listed of uh, battery range, uh, showing us 2.6 kilometers on the heads-up display of uh, total distance so we are going to be in gasoline mode soon and we're, we're on a pretty big climb here we've gone 50 kilometers of range like right on the dot at the moment so far exceeded uh, the listed capacity uh, out of an 8.8 .8 kilowatt hour of storage that's 
very efficient. It's very good. Now we're down to 3%, 1.2 showing. Yeah, like this higher, longer climb up this hill is really taking the energy out. Uh, we're 19 kilometers away from Jordan River. 2%, 0.5 kilometers showing on the heads up display. So it should happen any moment here. It has been raining for uh, quite a bit of the trip. Okay, we're in gas mode. So it's funny, as soon as I switched to gas mode, I f it feels the car got heavier. Oh, it's 80, oh no. Suddenly I have power mode. I, I need, it's 80 kilometers an hour here now. And the car is way faster. But I need to turn around now. And this, this might be one of our best chances. I'll let traffic go by. Now that we're stopped, you can hear the gasoline motor running. Okay. That was almost perfect. We were only in gas for a short time. We had a good time to turn around. And uh, you could hear the motor. But it's, uh, it's shifting, it's changing quite a bit now. All right, <laughs> we're halfway through our journey of, <laughs> of comparing the uh, 2018 Prius Prime to my 2011 Chevrolet Volt in terms of efficiency. And we are at the dealership. We've gone 101.9 kilometers and we've averaged two liters per 100 kilometers. So that's fantastic. And that works out really well. Like we hit about 51 kilometers when the uh, battery ran out. And then we turned around and came back, so 102 kilometers is almost perfect on that. Uh, the next step now is for me to move my camera equipment over to my Chevrolet Volt and go for that drive. And we're going to see what happens, but I don't think there's a chance in hell, like, because I've owned my Volt for quite a while now, that my first generation Volt is going to come where, anywhere near these numbers. We should drive farther, because the battery is larger in my Volt. I should be able to go farther before I turn around, but it'll be an even... 50-50 mix of full battery uh, versus gasoline drive. So let's go. Hey, okay, I'm set up in my 2011 Volt. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you'll see I have a lot of videos from here, so I'm not going to explain too much on the Volt, except that this car it came with a 10 kilowatt hour of usable capacity, um, and it should get more than the Prius Prime that I just drove, even though it's only set, it's still seven years old. It has 91,715 kilometers, so the car has been driven. Um, but yeah, we're going to take it on the exact same route. I'm going to put my little power flow meter up here. Uh, first impressions of getting into this car, my car, after driving the Prime is everything just feels a little bit older. Like the font on the screen is not nearly as sharp, and obviously the leather is getting worn and things like that, but it is a seven-year-old car. so. Has to be expected. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Well, I've been driving for a while. Uh, I'm just past the uh, halfway point. Actually, I've reached about 50% of my battery. Uh, of course, I don't have like a full insight like I did in the Prius Prime. I just have bars here, and it's around the halfway point. And you know, we're on. Well, currently, it's saying we're going to get about 51 kilometers all electric range which would match the Prius, but I would think that those numbers are going to go quite a bit further. We should exceed what the Prius Prime got. Uh, obviously, I haven't used any fuel yet. Uh, it's very uh, rainy out here, but I'm going to do same conditions with the Prius Prime. I'm going to make sure that I uh, don't use any um, heating or cooling or anything. have the stereo off. Now, one thing, though, is some insight. I did also record my driving reaction the same time I've been doing these videos. Same, I only had the Prius Prime for one day. And I already did my conclusion on the Prius Prime because I had to hand the, the keys over, but I was still trying to think about what, where it fits in most. And I did mention in that video that 
you get the most benefit out of a plug-in hybrid or an extended range if you could plug it in at night all the time. All right, or if you have a regular place so you can charge it, that's where you get the most benefit. But the Prius Prime almost is the best car if you don't if you can't charge regularly, the Prius Prime is probably the best vehicle. If you can charge here or there, then great, you can get that full electric range. But when it's on gas mode, it's so efficient in gas mode that you know that's that's such a huge benefit for people who can't charge in very often just to try to keep those fuel consumption costs down. And so I think that's the the market or the niche that the Prime uh, fits in. So, well, anyways, I need to keep driving. So I'll, uh, we'll be back when the uh, battery is just about to switch over to gas. Okay, we're climbing, we're still on battery. We generated quite a bit of electricity coming down that hill, actually. Yeah, we're still big climbing. Okay, the bar's gone. That's usually a good indicator that we're uh, we're gonna run out. And we're on gas on this gauge. And there we go, engine and battery. And we're the perfect spot to turn around. So let's get up here. So, we ended up going 58 kilometers on um, battery. So that's seven, seven kilometers spread. That's actually, I thought I would get further than, the, than that. But that's, this car is seven years old. The other one's brand new. So we've gone uh, 31 kilometers of gas. And we've already hit the two liter um, per 100 kilometer mark. Now there is a difference. This one here has always showed a little bit less. This one shows 1.9 liter per 100 kilometers. Now this is 2.1, so this should switch to two any moment. But it's still, it goes to show you, we still have 26 kilometers to go. And we've already exceeded the average fuel consumption um, compared to what the Toyota Prius Prime got. So the, the Prime is definitely murdering this car when it comes to fuel economy when running on gas. I don't like that. Well, the ride is over. Uh, I was able to, well, I'm back at my house where we started, and I was able to do a perfect split, 58.1 kilometers on electric, 58.1 kilometers on gas. So, this had actually worked out to 2.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, compared to what we got on the Toyota Prius Prime with 2 liters, this car, the Chevrolet Volt, definitely uh, consumes more fuel. And I think after driving it, like this this car, uh, especially compared to the Prime, it's just the Prime is, for some reason, able to capture energy a lot more efficiently at higher speeds, it seems. Um, at lower speeds, this car is kind of, it's using uh, the hybrid system or like it's using electricity a lot more often than at higher speeds, it seems the gas is always running. Now I had done a similar run like this uh, against the second generation Volt and I, I wanted to see if I actually would have the same numbers I did. Uh, that, vi that video I achieved 2.6 liters 100 kilometers, so it's exactly the same. Now the 2017 Chevrolet Volt, the second generation, achieved uh, about 2.1 liter or 2.2 liter per 100 kilometers. So that car has made some huge improvements and is very close to the Prius Prime. So there, the Prius Prime still wins a bit when it term, comes to, in terms of fuel economy when burning gas. But of course you're getting a much further range. Like I was able to get about, I think 120 kilometers of EV range out of the 2017 Volt. Uh, compared to, I just, well, we got 51 on the Prius Prime. So they're very different cars. 
And of course, with a plug-in hybrid, you do get a lot more maintenance, or you have the regular maintenance cycles, whereas an extended range EV like this, the maintenance is very minimal. It's every two years or 40,000 kilometers, you do an oil change. So there are definitely benefits to the Volt, but I still think, I think the Prius Prime has a greater reach potential for sure. Just given the fact that it's Toyota, and especially in a place like Canada, like I live in Victoria on Vancouver Island, we're very uh, progressive when, in terms of chargers and things like that. But when you look at a place like Saskatchewan or whatever, where you have a huge area that you need to cover, uh, most EVs don't work for people. But I think the Prius Prime might be a better, more suited candidate for places like that. And there's nothing I could say against the, the Prius Prime. Like it's, it was a very nice drive. It achieved fantastic uh, fuel consumption numbers. It got better than it expected, electric range. It was comfortable. So, and I like some of the features, like the head up display. I like the general layout of the bigger screen. That worked really well. Uh, it's a, an excellent car. And definitely, you know, the seven year spread from this car to the, the Prime, they have made, there's been some huge advancements in the automotive market. And Toyota has definitely taken advantage of those and they've created an excellent car. So that's the efficiency explained. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed this car you know, to have it be defeated so easily, but that's the way it is, I guess. You know what? And thank you once again for uh, Jim Pass and Toyota and Victoria for letting me borrow the Prime. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you can. And you know, at least, you know, the one thing I can at least say about my first gen Volt is that at least the sound system's better. You know, it's, uh, can you feel it gives me pleasure. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you can. Uh, hit like, write comments or questions, I'll answer them. Till the next video.